uh, we're going to actually create an organization and that organization is for like July. Uh, here we have already our organization. Uh, anyways, we are going to create a new organization. And on that organization, uh, we are going to actually create four project. One project is for the cloud ops. One project is for the SQA and VBE. One project is for like the MARN and uh other project no i think three projects right three are good you don't so, have okay yeah sorry no no sorry. Go ahead. okay yeah so these three projects are good so then then what we'll do we'll first of all the first uh priority and the responsibility is to bring the members to that organization okay so that you can add them into their project like the cloud ops whoever is the cloud ops member you are not going to add them into the qa project right you are going to add them into the cloud ops cloud projects ops. and then whoever is the qa you are going to add them into the qa project so this is how you will add them into their specific project and they are in their specific project they will have their own user stories and under the user history they will have their own tasks okay so let me show you our previous like uh, project the like february batch they are already almost they have they are like uh, at the end of the of their boot camp so let me show you or their how we manage their work so if i go to the sqa engineer february 2023 Mm. okay so here you can see this is a sprint okay and the sprint is 7 30 to uh it will be like 8 30 august 30 to uh, 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 uh sorry it will be the like uh wait it will be the july 30 to august 13 okay by mistake they just did this okay let me fix it july 30 to august 13th right so let me select the july 13th to august 30 okay let me update this okay so two weeks sprint so these two weeks sprint is current sprint and here they have see three user stories one user history for the show and tell one user history for the technical test and task one user history is for the workshop action items okay so in there what they will do in there they will actually create their own task okay like whoever is preparing for the show and tell they will actually create a task under the show and tell okay whoever is working in the uh, like they are like working into the technical question they will actually what they will do they will update their task here under this user history whoever is working into the workshop action items they will create the task under this user history okay so what will be your responsibility your responsibility will be like every sprint you will create a sprint and under the sprint, you will have these three user stories minimum, and you will create all these three stories. And the members they will create their own task under the specific user story based on their work. Okay. So what will you do? You will manage their task. I mean, you will check the sprint board. Like here, we can see that only Shukanto is created this task for himself but there is no task for other members right so then what you'll do you will communicate to them you will ask them to the retro meeting you will uh, talk to them you will uh, also get the update from them into the sync up call okay so like yeah are they updating their task into that sprint board or not 
if they are now if they, they uh, didn't update then ask them into the retro board that why didn't you update your task into the spin board what was the roadblock if they have any roadblock then they will actually discuss about that roadblock then the team will try to fix it okay but if there is no roadblock then that person must be create the task into their user stories because these three user stories are their work need to complete in during this sprint did you get my point yes mr pranto so this active done by shukanto is a task right he created yes okay and also you will not only check there that they are creating the task only you all also check that they have the proper description okay oh. they they added also this proper information like the effort the value the start date target date risk i mean they add all this information properly if yeah. someone is not able or someone missed to add this information you will raise the question that i saw that that in your task it's blank or this information is not added can you please add there the information can you please add the effort there can you please add the target date and start date there so that you can estimate your task yes okay? so this is what happens this is what happens as a product owner you have to manage in your real project also okay so yes. that's why we are giving to you this all these activities so that you guys can actually in the next two months you guys can do practice i mean it's not you can say the practice you can say the real works you are going to re, uh, actual working with the people who who is new here who does not know anything about your project so they are completely new here and you are assigning them that you, you are you are you will have the your user story and they will have their own task and they will have to complete their task in their duration okay duration is the two week uh, sprint duration yes. right yep yeah. because uh, every like so that means in every two weeks uh, we, we, in the two weeks we have two workshop right yes so they have to complete two workshop activities okay yes okay so here this is the sprint so this is the sprint you have to create and under the sprint you have to create your the user stories and then and those user stories you will have assigned them you will have you will assign yourself okay and also you will have the information in your user story though she didn't add the user stories information let me show you previous sprint we had that here see SQA February 2023 show and tell. So this is the actually work, uh, workshop action item. Okay, let me show you the action item. What is the workshop action item? So this is the workshop action item. Now you can ask me, okay. This is the workshop action item, but I'm I, I'm not going to join into the QA workshop. So how will I know that what is the workshop action item or what will be the action workshop action item, right? So this is the question. So for that, what you will do? You will ask the question to the either the mentors or the mentor assistant. Like for the QA, the mentor assistant is the Ishraq. Then also I am the mentor. You can ask, first priority you should ask to the mentor assistant, okay? So that they will give you the, provide the, you the information. If somehow you miss uh, the information, you miss to get the information from them, then you can ask to the mentor also that okay, what was uh, what completed in the last workshop okay what have been completed in the last workshop you can ask them and also uh, for the clouders we have the like dolon then also the jihad and shahid is the mentor and the, both of them are the mentor assistant so you can just also ask to them that okay what is the workshop action and though i will tell them after every workshop they will send you the workshop action items but if somehow they miss to send you the action item then you will ask them okay 
Yes, I understand. Because, like uh, because you uh, have to add those information into where? 